Hey, wanna know what's the deal with IPv6 and how it affects your internet browsing? Good, because this is exactly what we're tackling today. IPv6 or Internet Protocol version 6 is the successor to IPv4. The main goal of both IPv4 and IPv6 is to give devices a way to be identified and located on the internet, similar to how a name identifies a person. However, the number of connected devices has grown rapidly and IPv4 is running out of available addresses. To address the shortage and support growing demand, IPv6 was introduced, offering a much larger pool of IP addresses than IPv4. IPv6 is all about expanding the number of possible IP addresses available for devices online. So if IPv4 uses 32-bit addresses, IPv6 uses 128-bit addresses, four times the length, allowing for over 340 undecillion unique addresses. IPv6 addresses are initially made up of binary as a series of zeros and ones. And let's be honest, no one's got time to type up that whole chain of digits each time. This is why IPv6 addresses are usually arranged in 8 groups, each containing 16 bits. These bits are expressed as hexademical digits. So instead of dealing with an extensive binary code that represents IPv6, you'll most likely have something like this. And if this is too long as well, IPv6 addresses can be abbreviated as long as this process follows appropriate rules. For example, an IPv6 address like this can be shortened to this. Now, when accessing a device with an IPv6 address via a browser, make sure to enclose the address in brackets to ensure it works properly. IPv6 addresses come in three types, unicast, anycast, and multicast each serving different data transmission needs to enhance network performance, security, or scalability. Unicast is for one-to-one -one communication, sending data to a single specific interface. Anycast uses one-to-nearest communication, where multiple devices share the same address and the network sends the packet to the nearest device based on routing distance. Multicast is for one-to-many communication, delivering data to all interfaces subscribed to a specific group. The key difference is that Unicast targets one interface, Anycast targets the nearest of multiple interfaces, and Multicast targets all subscribe interfaces. IPv4 and IPv6 will coexist for many years, if not decades, but transitioning to IPv6 is inevitable in the long run. So, to make this transition as smooth as butter, a few mechanisms have been deployed to deal with this. Dual stack, tunneling, and translation. Dual stack allows networking devices to run on both IPv4 and IPv6 simultaneously, enabling communication over either protocol depending on the network. Tunneling wraps IPv6 packets in IPv4 packets, allowing them to pass through IPv4 networks. And translation converts packets between IPv4 and IPv6, enabling communication between devices running only on one of the protocols. This covers the basics of IPv6 and what it consists of. We hope this introduction was helpful, and if you'd like to learn more about IPv6, let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time!